Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Rogue Tech Cold Forge series. So last episode, we picked up a couple of Wolverine parts, so we're pretty close to finishing up a Wolverine. We just need two more parts. And um, we also picked up some good salvage that we uh, were able to upgrade our mechs a little bit with. And what else did we do? Um, we pulled off a one and a half skull assassinate mission. So today, let me go right into contracts. Let's just see what we got for us here today. So I want to try another, if there's another assassinate mission, let's go do that. Yeah. Not a lot down here. What about up here in this, in this area? Assassinate. Aggressive negotiations. Troubles with Steiner. Trap sprung. That one's always a tricky one. Aggressive negotiations is tricky too. Settling a grudge. Battle in the Badlands. Local pirate organization. Find a pirate lance and destroy it. Chances are there's going to be more than one lance. Hmm. Two of nine salvage is kind of weak. We really want to get more. So if we're going to do anything, maybe we try settling a grudge today. It's two skull. We can always bail if we're having a hard time and we'll go down and do one of these ones down here. So let's try this guy today. So let's negotiate. Crank it up, three of 13. We still got lots of cash before the end of the month. Let's accept this. And we'll go with the standard lance. Deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. Let's light up the lance. All right, let's just take a look at the terrain here. So we're going to have guys there. And if reinforcements come, they're going to be from back here. So we know the layout of this map. We know what to do here. The best way to actually tackle this map, if you actually want to um, maximize your defensibility, I mean, you could come up here and try and pop out behind here and work behind there. I like to come around this way and drive straight down this channel. There's places to come out through here, through here. Uh, you can get up on hills and shoot down on people. It's always nice to be able to move back if you have to retreat. Plus, if you have to back up, we've also got this uh, um, mineral field here. So we're going to move along once we reserve back. We are going to move along, let's get pylon first, along this way. Now our first encounter will be straight down this channel here. It's always, there's always a mech standing right here. So we just want to move to a position yep. where we can get in to see this guy in one turn. Because then we'll reserve back and then hopefully if he's already just uh, reserved, we can unload everything right on him. So that's the goal. Alrighty. Oh, really? Okay. Don't know if they're going to push up. They may probably just going to sit still. And my guess is they got reinforcements. Yeah. They've got reinforcements. So let's reserve. Well, at least we know they've got lights. Yes, now, Pylon, let's be careful here. I think if we go, this is, is probably as far as we can go before we'll detect them. Good. So we're still outside the range. So everybody stays up behind recoil. No problem. Let's get the Centurion as close as we can. Like here. Because I want him to go first. He doesn't got the greatest speed. And then Hickory can come up in here. I know this is giving time for the reinforcements to arrive, but I really want to catch this mech flat-footed. And the reason for that is um, if it is a heavier mech and we can we can take it off the map board within the first turn or at least seriously cripple them, we're going to give ourselves the advantage, regardless if they have people reserving moving action. in or not. Okay, we're going to keep reserving. Yeah, they got an assault mech. Or heavy mech, anyway. Let's hope it's a catapult. Oh, crap. I can't get all the way up. So, Pylon's going to have go. to be the guy that does it. Let's get up to here. Do we want to do it this way? I don't think so. 
I think we want to do it this way. We're going to be able to see him. Yeah, there he is there. But we're not going to be able to hit him like I wanted. Just don't have the range. So we're going to do this instead. We're going to prep for an attack. I should have given him a target to shoot for. I should have moved piling up in the center, but I really want to make sure that... Uh, let's get the Centurion out here. That these guys stay undamaged right now. Pylon's going to be doing enough damage up front. Okay, so that guy is a light mech. Let's reserve, see if he moves forward. Nope. Okay, buddy. Well... Let's give him the good news. Stinger. Wow. Here it comes, folks. What's up, buddy? So I have no idea how tough these guys are. Okay, pylon. So they do have reinforcements. The whole thing about these guys not moving is the fact that they've got reinforcements moving up. So I want to make short work of this guy, regardless of the fact that he's a light mech. Still want him off the map board, so we're going to fire everything. Wow. Seriously, dude? That's a miss. As soon as I get a TTS, it's going right in your mech. That's just yep. ridiculous. Okay. Let's get this guy... All right, let's do this. See, 50% chance to hit with two of them. There goes the left arm. Probably a medium laser with it. Not that badass. He's still moving. Come on, pot shot with that medium laser. I got a surprise for you here. Yeah, he doesn't really have... He don't got the juice right now. Okay, recall. So we were able to upgrade recoils. Um, oh, we can't actually shoot at him, really? Oh, we can't from back here. We were able to upgrade two of uh, recoils small lasers with uh, medium lasers, or a medium and a flamer. So we've got a little bit of extra punch power, and a little bit more range. Also a little better heat sinking too, which is good. Oh, you just wait, you. <laughs> yeah, you just wait, you. I'm liking this guy already. Okay, so there's four. We haven't heard anything from a reinforcement yet, so... Maybe it is only four. No, there's stuff moving, but oh, maybe not. Four lights. This can't be a, a two-skull mission with four lights. Maybe one of them is a command Orion. I keep saying that, but uh, I keep being disappointed too, so. Um, let's just walk over here. Confirmed. Let's dump this guy the message right here. Let her rip. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got more guys back there. All right, recoil. Really bad chance to hit, dude. What if we get real close to this guy? That's more like it, right in there. Roger that. Full speed. All right, let's give this guy the good news. Firing full on him. Prometheus flame. Nice. Nice. It gets plus five hit per, or plus five heat per two turns, so. Or for, two, for the next two turns. This guy is completely on fire now. Alright, see what these guys do. I'm going to be very disappointed if it's two lances of light mechs. Although, if we find a spider part, that's good. Ah, uh, flee. Spider parts, a couple commando parts would be nice. Although, I ra would rather build my next lance with a medium mech at the head. So, having a Wolverine would be nice. Although, I think I would transfer that into this lance. 
A wasp, really? Reporting internal damage. Really? What's up, boss? No shooting, just running. I don't know, we got some shooting coming up on this guy right here. All weapons are go. Expose that structure, I'll take care of the rest. Yep. They're heading your way. So that's a 10. Could be a Centurion. Could be a Valkyrie too. Although one on the medium phase, so it's unlikely it's a Valkyrie. Alright, let's see if we can kill this guy. Nope, but he's definitely not having a good day. He'll die next turn. Okay, so they're moving slow back there. The guy that... Oh, we still don't know what that guy is. Okay. Standing by. As long as they can see us. Got to move some good distance Roger. here. So she got torsoed on the one side, really. Wow. How is that possible? Everything must have been hitting that torso. Uh, let's clean this guy up, please. How much has he got left in the center? 29. Let's not bother cleaning him up with you. Let's hit this guy. Okay, recoil. Let's get back here. Okay, we got one chevron, medium chevron. So that's probably a centurion, my guess. Let's fire everything on this guy. Okay, let's see if he runs. Is this a melee attack? Oh, it's the stinger coming back. Okay, so that guy back there is not a medium. That's a Valkyrie, probably. That's a light. This guy's going on turn three. I thought it was the medium going on turn three. Okay. Locust. Boy. It's not so much that they've got these mechs here. It's just the sheer numbers of them that can be a problem. And here comes the wasp. For a back hit or a side hit. Side hit. Okay, we gotta clean up a couple of these guys this turn. So let's get cold metal back here. Um and we need to do a multi-target. We gotta fire on this guy, and we gotta fire on this guy. We're gonna put those two in the back of B, this on A, and this on B. Actually, let's put this on A too. Let's fire these. Engaging. I want to make sure I kill that guy. Okay, we got that guy down. And this stinger should be gone here. Yep. So clean up two this turn. Possibly a third one if once we get pylon moving, we should be able to finish up this wasp here. Okay, so it's another long range. That looked like 10. Could be a Centurion. Hoping it's a Centurion. Hoping it's something good. Seven left on that side, eh? So let's get Pylon. Still got a bit of time before they get here, so I'm just going to turn um, this way. Affirmative. And we're going to fire on this guy. Going to go into overheat. And of course we are. Leaving off the medium and the small. Firing. Firing. Wow. Gotta do something about that mech. Failed to connect. I might pull out those medium pluses and just put in the uh, regular mediums. Oh, oh. Okay. That could be a catapult, which we have five parts of. I'm hoping that that's a catapult. Good to go. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Okay, let's move back here. Can we get back here? We can get here. I'll be turning our back to the Locust, though. Do we want to do that? Do we really care? 
I think we care. I think we don't care. Got some good evasion. I'm gonna fire everything straight into this guy's back. Okay, he took his leg, he's going down. So we should probably get Hickory to clean this guy up, I think, next turn. Or her next round, that is. So this, this Locust, what's he going to do? Nothing, he's just going to stand there like a dork. Alright, you do that, buddy. So we got our right side damage, so let's turn so that we got our left side to these guys. And just to this one guy here. Like that. On my way. And we're going to target him with everything in the CT and fire. Attacking from position. I want to make sure these guys are cleaned out before these other guys get into play. Okay, so there's just the Locust left. That's a Centurion job, I think. I'm... No, I don't know if that's a Valkyrie. I don't think that guy fired. I think it was the guy at the back that fired before. So Locust is going, moving back and turning. Can we get... We can get on him from right here. So let's do that. And we're going to fire everything straight in this guy's face. Okay, he took his upper arm. We'll get Pylon around to, pl to uh, pummel the same side. I think I'm going to have him come in immediately if he's got the range. I want to drop his heat before these other guys get up here. So it's a 10. I'm thinking that is a Centurion. Let's hope it's a Valkyrie, a Centurion, and a Catapult. So we're going to come in on this side here. 86% chance. Let's see if we can take the arm. So these four lights gave us a bit of a, I don't want to say a pasting, but they gave us a bit of, bit, tr bit of trouble. Okay, there goes the arm. Nice chevrons of evasion. So they got four. They got a guy down here too. So that's a large laser and a thunderbolt. What the heck is a large laser and a thunderbolt? It's an assault mech. So we have a medium, which is this guy. Probably these two guys are lights, and this is the assault mech. What has a thunderbolt and a large laser? I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Okay, so let's do this yep. by the medium. numbers to make sure nobody gets killed, please. In the trees, on the side, maximum invasion, move oh, forward, yeah. please. Uh, we need to get this guy gone, and then we're going to retreat back behind the wall here. So let's put everything on him, please. Gonna do a little side burrowing. Okay, how far can Hickory get here? Not far enough. Can do this, though. Let's give this guy a pasting, please. Okay, there goes the right arm. Unstable. Let's see where he goes. I'm, I'm saving up all of my resolve. I don't want to use it yet. Because if we have the, if that is an assault mech back there, I want to try and maximize salvage off that guy. So he's going to moonwalk back here with a medium laser. Is that all he got? Does he just have a medium laser left? He's got nothing left. Wow. Waiting for orders. Let's finish this up, man. Heading out. We got the heat. Let's just finish him off. Got it. Excellent. Tango down. Should have ran. Okay, so they don't have a spotter now. So now I have to decide. I'm thinking. Do I want to use this now to block me from this guy? No. I want to go this way. I'll show you what we're going to do here. Got an idea. We're going to use this cliff for, for the Jenner to pace guys from a distance. And we're going to use... I'm here. 
just back up for a minute. Copy that. Get, get some heat back here. Okay, Commando. Not worried about that guy. I am in a way because he's a spotter. Don't want a vigilance, just want to sprint, buddy. Let's get back here. Okay, get some heat back. Get all our heat back, that's awesome. Urban mech. Most likely. That would make sense though, because he's moving pretty darn slow. Let's get back here. Okay. I want to make sure that guy doesn't have a direct fire with the Thunderbolts. I want to have him lobbing those Thunderbolts as much as possible. So we're going to do something here. Um, oh my god, these guys are blocking me. Are you serious? Alright, just brace it then. So as long as that guy moves into the valley, he doesn't have a direct line of sight. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's start this up. Um, I'm going to move in here. I'm going to turn to the side. So we've got Hunchback 4J with two LRMs and full armor. And a Panther 5T with a heavy rifle and a fluid gun. So I want to push back, uh, I think, the Panther here. And we're going to try for a CT hit. I want to get rid of him completely. Um, and I have no idea how what chance to hit with everything, but we're going to fire everything. Okay. Okay, Commando doesn't have a shot. So let's move Hickory up here. Um, let's get to a point where we have a direct line of sight. I'm going to turn our left torso. And I want to push back this Panther again. Or do I? No, we're not going to push the Panther back. We're just going to attack him straight out. He's probably going to go next. Okay, he's taking a lot of CT damage now. So I think one blast from cold metal and it's over for him. Unless he, of course, melees from behind and I can't get in front of him. 30 points, eh? Playing the wrong game, buddy. Yeah, it's hot, eh? Let's just walk up here. Put everything straight into the front of this guy. Come on, man. You gotta hit with more than that. Okay, is he in the... He is. Okay, let's see who's better choice here. I'm thinking if we can blast this panther, yeah. This guy's got a lower chance to hit. So let's get rid of this panther. Hunchbacks, like I said, have notoriously bad armor. So we're going to shoot him in the back. As long as this guy's down in the valley right now, he can't get a direct line of sight on us. Yeah, he's got to lob him, which means he's got a way worse chance of hitting. That's not to say that he won't hit, but once again, indirect fire has got a way worse chance to hit. So let's give recoil first shot on this guy. We want to get out of the way of that hunchback. We're going to sprint back here. Actually, I think we can just move to here, can't we? Yeah. We're going to move back here. Let's turn ourselves slightly like this, just in case this guy decides to come around and melee again. And we'll dump everything straight into the center of this guy. We should be able to clean him up now. There you go. Okay, he was playing the wrong game. Um, oh, the hunchback can see me. That's why. Ah, well played. Armor holding. Aye, aye. Ah, we 
definitely don't want to have that torso facing that direction, so we can do this. Let's get you back here. Should be out of sight now. Gonna fire both MRN-10s on this guy. And we're gonna do an offensive push. I want to push this guy back a turn. I'm gonna try for a headshot. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a headshot. Okay, so we can go before him now. So let's get cold metal. Um, hmm. Damn, we can't get a uh, rear shot on. Let's move. Let's move in like this. That guy's still in the valley. Am I correct, man? That guy. They gotta fix the camera stuff on this. It's so hard to maneuver it sometimes. Yeah, he's still down there, so we don't have to worry about him. I don't think. Of course, now that I said that. So we're going to fire on this guy, drop everything on him. If we can shoot at any side, definitely want to shoot the right side. What's up, boss? Let's get you around here, please. Ooh, that's a rear shot. Uh, I was only one square away from getting a rear, rear shot on this guy. Alright, dump everything on him, please. Ooh, yes. So that's the backs. Oh, he's down to 10. <laughs> Where are you going? King Crab. Are you kidding me? Crabby, crabby, crabby. Alright, what kind of crab is this, though? King Crab, oh, old version. So he's got probably an old engine. No, Fusion Core, well, and yeah, Primitive Engine, Primitive Armor. Thunderbolt 10, which we're missing. Would be nice to get that back again. Get a second one of those. Two heavy rifles, large minus, medium minus. Okay, so not... Yeah. It's still it's still a tough mech. Order. But not as tough as I thought it was going to be. On my way. Okay, so let's leave... We leave the Flamer on, I think. Small Laser Plus can come off and one of the medium lasers. We'll fire everything into this guy's backside. We might be able to take that torso. Looks like it, maybe. Yes. Inflicted some heavy damage. So he is not having a good day. Medium and small laser left. And that guy can't see us. So Hickory, let's get into the forest. Let's try and clean this guy up. He's unstable. Let's fire on him, see if we can knock his ass over. Probably not, but we can make him certainly make him more unstable than he already is. Oh, he's, he's knocked down. There we go. And he's done. Alright, Pylon and Cold Metal are on this guy now. Um, I don't want to get close enough that this guy can melee me. That could be really bad. So we want to pot shot him from probably about this range, maybe a little farther. So next turn I'll move back a little more, I think. Let's fire with the bigger weapons. Yes. Um, that's good enough chance to hit. Just going to walk it over, get our stability back, dump everything on this guy. I think we can play the stability game with this guy, probably knock him down. Wow, I missed with everything. Wow, look at the heat too. Okay, I'm going to reserve. I want to see what that commando is going to do. I want to see if we need to dedicate recoil and hickory to this guy. Or if I can use them on the main guy. I want to get that flamer down there. So we can use the, these guys on the main guy. So let's get recoil down here. Uh, can we see this guy? We can. Going to move into here. Understood. Moving fast. Let's get the flames on him. Uh, we can fire all this stuff, I think. So we'll just dump it all on him. I'll make him dead. Yeah. He's nicely behind that rock, though. I'm here. Uh, 
position confirmed. Now, do we want to hit this guy? 25, 50. I've got multi targets, so let's do that. Fire at him and him. Put the medium lasers on B. Fire everything. Engaging multiple enemies. So these are just for stability. Yeah, a little bit, not much. Centurion's going to go after that. Okay, good start on that guy. Was, wasn't expecting a hit, but we'll take the one hit. Cold metal. Let's get ourselves down into here. And let's start working on this guy. We're going to do an offensive push on him. Let's try for a headshot. Gonna walk back here and fire the three. Got it. I think we're just gonna have to blow this guy up. I think we're just gonna have to blow him up. Good to go. Okay, recoil. I know we're a little close here, but I'm thinking we can shut this guy down or knock him down this turn. So let's... Better chance to hit with that than this. So let's go with these guys. Plus 10 heat, nice. You keep firing, buddy. Got ace pilot, okay. So let's move Hickory. Aye, aye. Gonna move back here, gonna keep our torso turned. Once let's again, go. multi shot A, B. Let's see if we can uh, add a good bit of stability to this guy this time. Ugh, really terrible. Oh, one hit though on this guy. Nice. All right, cold metal. Um, just gonna fire straight on this guy. We get more hits that way, more instability that way. Um, pylon. I could melee him. What do you think the chances of knocking him down are? Let's try it, see what happens. We should be really evasive. Kind of worried about getting hit though. 38 damage. Is it enough to knock? There's the knockdown. Okay, good. So we'll at least be able, be able to find out how tough this pilot is. Two or three. Wow. Okay. So we do have a good chance of capturing a lot of parts from this guy. Wow. Come on, shut down. You know you want to. You know you want to shut down. No. No. Standing by. That's legitimately disappointing. Understood. I was having so much fun, then a guy blew himself up. Only the king crab kills the king crab. Okay, let's get... Oh, Ace Pilot, of course. Oh, he's playing it smart. Sure is. Waiting for orders. Time to get back over here. Gotta help out Hickory. Let's go, Pylon. Yeah, we still have lots of missiles left, too. What's going on here? Didn't get a chance to use them all. Alright, let's see what he does here. Well, at least he's missing. 
He's gonna run this way. Nope. He's gonna be stupid. I'm here. Oh, I guess he's decided the game's over. Copy that. Here it comes, buddy. Let's leave one medium off. Last missiles. Aye, aye. Armor. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to salvage out. much off this guy, so okay. let's just paste him and finish this up. Engage. I'm hoping there's something to salvage from that King Crab, though. Target. Come on, bail out. You know you want to bail out. You want to bail out, guy. Receiving you. Location confirmed. Uh, I gave you a chance. Target acquired. There we go. Well, that took a little longer than expected, but that's the two skull mission. mission Alright, contract increased by 20%, so 238,000. Not bad. And our Jenner did take a little bit of torso damage. I'm, they must have really plinked her hard on that one side. And then, of course, our um, Firefly took a shot to the back. So, not too bad. And uh, one King Crab part. Are you serious? And we were working at getting that too, really? Ah, so frustrating. What's down here? Anything? Hands, heat sinks. Crap. Yeah. Okay, well, let's grab. Got a good idea what I want here. Let's grab the fluid gun. And I think these heavy rifles are 150,000 a pop. So we're going to take both of them and we're just going to sell them. So we'll get, you know. Like, what, 10, 12, 13,000 for each one of these? Something like that. So, yeah, let's hope for some good parts. Flea, Hunchback, and Wasp. Blah. Oh, well. We've, I know we've got a few Hunchback parts. I think this is our third one now, so it's not too bad. I know we've got a couple of Wasp parts, and I think we have another, we got one Flea part, I think. All right. Yeah, a couple of things going on over there. Uh, 15 grand to repair not too bad especially for going up against the king crab so let's have a look at our tasks here um, looking pretty good actually yeah let's just go like that it's pretty much the same yeah not bad so let's go to the store here real quick before we end the episode and see if there's anything that might be interesting let's go to sell first let's sell some stuff um, Gonna sell these heavy rifles. Oh, so they were almost 20 grand each. That's good. Sell both of those. Sell the large. We're starting to get a little bit of cash now, which is nice. Medium laser minus can go. Heavy machine gun array. We're gonna be using that soon enough. I got a really good sweet plan for this guy. Um, I can't wait to actually build that build and show you. So what else we got here? Fusion cores we need to keep. I think that's about it. We got three jump jets we can sell. Actually, no, I want to hang on to those because I got an idea for those two. Primitive cockpits can go because, you know, we could we'd use the 260 uh, sea bills for a uh, night in the bar. So we'll take that. And that's about it. So let's see what we got here to buy. If there's anything interesting. I don't think so. Large laser, machine gun lights, Thunderbolt 15. That figures. But we got lots of those anyway. Um, nothing else really that interesting. Password tier 2, but we don't have the money for it. Oh, TTS plus 1 energy. I'd be foolish not to buy this right now. Plus one accuracy with energy weapons increases critical chance with energy weapons. Let's buy that. New I know it puts us back a little bit, but uh, we definitely need that. So let's go to the mech bay. So it's a toss up. Uh, oh wait, we gotta wait our turns. So it's a toss up. Do we put that in to the um, Phoenix Hawk or do we put that in the... Um, the flea or the firefly sorry I think it's got to be the Phoenix Hawk we got to offset these uh, I don't know why this does this zero C bills in one day okay whatever uh, so let's go with the Phoenix Hawk let's refit this guy so what can we lose from here that's gonna give us the ability to put that in angels what 
Is that two tons? That's two tons. So if we downgrade the Angel to a regular Guardian E, well, a Guardian's one and a half, a regular ECM, right? If we pull out the Angel, put in a regular ECM, that only gives us a, oh, that's the Guardian. Where's the regular one? Here it is. Come on. All right, we've got one ton left over for this. So let's move the patchwork materials into here. Put the TTS plus one. I think this is going to help him out a bit. Let's confirm this. We'll wait the two days. So we'll be able to test it out next episode. So yeah, that'll be it for today. If you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel to subscribe and also check out my channel. I've got a few other road. I got one other road tech series that I'm running right now uh, on that on that channel, and I've also got a uh, BattleTech Flashpoint series that I'm running as well. But until next time, we'll see you all later.